Recently, I got the question of how to get some better camera movements around a little car scene in Unreal. Let me show you what I would do. First, I would go ahead and go to my selection mode and under the basic tab, I would go ahead and find an actor and I'll take this actor and put it wherever I want my camera to look. So wherever I'm placing my camera, I want my actor to be, my camera to be looking at that actor. So I'm gonna go ahead and pretend we're gonna do a shot of this front right headlight right here, or maybe this little spot on the logo. So I will take this actor and put it right at that spot. Now from here, I would hit F2 on the keyboard and I will call this cam underscore rotator. Sweet. Now I'm gonna right click on this and go to move to, and I will create a new folder and I will call this folder cam underscore 001. Now under this folder, let's go ahead and navigate to our little hamburger lines up here and go to create camera actor here and Cinna camera actor. I'm gonna take this and call this cam tutorial. You can call it whatever you want. It's good to stay organized. And I will put this cam tutorial under the camera rotator. Now I will go under the camera tutorial and zero out the position. So then now this camera, if we hit G on the keyboard, we can ideally see, where's my camera? Ah, oh, it's inside the car. Now I prefer setting my rotation on, I believe it's the, the Y axis to 90. No, it's not the Y axis, it's the Z axis. We'll set this to 90. So now we can go ahead and pull this on the Y axis out to just a little bit. And we can now see we have this camera looking at that front headlight. Now the reason why, well, I mean, this shot actually looks pretty cool. Uh, the reason why I have this camera under a null is now I can rotate this camera and it will basically look at that one spot. Now, whenever we do a weird, if we're doing that camera preview, it's doing a weird funky thing. So let's go ahead and go under perspective and camera tutorial. And now if I select this rotator, we can see that we're orbiting around that one center spot, which is typically a, it's something you'd get from like a camera robot. So now I would go in and under my camera settings, I would set my desired sensor size, which is how, how big the image is going to be relative to the camera. So I always love using a 16 by nine DSLR because that's what I like shooting on. And then I will go ahead and set my focus to the target. So I could either use a manual focus target and hit my little eyedropper and drop right there. Or another thing you could do is you could go to your tracking method here, and then you could go ahead and duplicate the camera rotator. And you don't want it to be under the uh, camera. You want it to be separate. And we can call this cam tutorial target. So now we can go ahead and set the camera tracking focus to the target that we just made. And the reason why we do this is now we can animate this focus point somewhere on the uh, on the, in the scene. So we could go from, let's say the right headlight to the, uh, the different headlights. So that being said, we can set our camera focus to our target or just manually set it. It's really just up to you. And then the focal length is gonna be very important, especially for car renders. The default focal length in Unreal is very wide for video games, but a more cinematic focal length might be something like a 35 millimeter with an f1.2 lens or a 50 millimeter so let's try 35 and i'd say that looks pretty good to start now i'm going to go ahead and move my focus point so that we're exactly on that logo there and now from here you want to make sure that you don't accidentally move your camera i accidentally just clicked outside my viewport and i do want to fix that so i'm going to hit zero on the x and then set this back to 90 and pull this back out like so. So now we have a good looking shot. I realized I made a little bit of a boo-boo, so uh, I set my camera tutorial target to another actor in my scene. So I'm just gonna set this to do, 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 target cam zero zero tutorial. Tutorial target, there we go. That's nice and sharp. So. Past Jags, sorry about that. Tutorial people, sorry about that. I was trying to get through this as fast as possible. And yeah, there we go. Let's go back to Past Jags.
And from here, what we would do is we'd go ahead and animate our camera. Now, I would go into a level sequence. I have this demo right here. Let's delete the existing content that we have. And we are going to create a new animation, drag our camera into our scene. And the biggest gotcha is we have to make sure we have a camera cut track. We'll go to add and camera cut track. And we wanna set the first camera cut to our camera tutorial. Now, we don't wanna animate our camera, we wanna animate the null under this. So we'll take the null and we will go ahead and drop this into our level sequence. And then from here, go to transform and add a keyframe at some point, let's say at frame zero, and navigate to the very end. And let's just rotate this null just a little bit, like so. So now we have this cool shot. Now the biggest mistake a lot of people make when it comes to CG camera moves is one, the camera will be eased. So if we first set our frame rate, if we go to our graph editor, we can see that we have this curve of our animation here, but instead we wanna select our keyframes and we wanna hit the linear button. I know the keyboard shortcut, which is the number four key on my keyboard, but you can also hit this button or these buttons here to set your ease. So now if we go ahead and play this back, we're doing this cool little orbit shot around that one focal spot. Now, when it comes to creating good looking cinematics, it's not just about one shot. It's about having multiple shots that help tell a story. So what I would do in this scenario is I would extend my level sequence out. So however long my animation needs to be, and I will go into wherever I want that camera cut to happen next. And I will go to the plus sign under the camera cuts or somewhere. I would just go ahead and add a new camera. It's actually not gonna be here. We're gonna hit this button. So now we have a cine camera actor. This little lightning bolt means it's spawnable as in it's only gonna be inside this level sequence, but it doesn't really matter. We can make our own camera. We just need to add a second camera. We'll call this cam tut 002. And now from here, we can see that this cam tut 002 is still in that one spot, but the, the focal length is wrong. The focus is wrong. Let's go ahead and set those really quick. So I will set my focus distance. So let's say the car again, and I will hold right click and use WASD to maybe compose a new shot. I will uh, use my mouse wheel backwards while holding right click to slow down my shot or slow down my camera movement so then i can just go ahead and frame up my shot like so and now from here i would go ahead and set my focus distance again so now we have a good spot i'm not going to do anything crazy with this camera just for the sake of this tutorial so i'm going to set this focal length to 24 and now we're getting a much wider shot of this car and then what i can do is i can go to my camera not the car the camera where's my camera tut right there and let's go ahead and add a keyframe under the transform property let's go forward another some amount of frames let's say to the 240 mark so this is another five second shot let's go ahead and add another keyframe and i do like working with auto keyframing on which is this button right here and you can set what keyframes are added based on this menu so from here let's go ahead at the end keyframe right here hold right click and just mouse wheel or W forward and just use our mouse to recompose that angle just a little bit. Let's select our keyframes. And if you remember earlier, we hit the four key to make them linear. So now if we go ahead and close our cameras, we can see that we have these two tracks of camera animation, but our camera cut track does not have our new camera. So in this plus camera track here, we'll go to our new binding and set this to cam tut 002. So now if we go ahead and click on this button, we can preview through our main camera or our camera cut track, and we can go ahead and watch our little animation. It's a little blurry there, I would fix that later. And we can see that we have these two shots in sequence. So if I was making a little car animation, I would go ahead and first off, find music to create the sort of vibe of the edit and sequence I want. And then I would just choose camera angles, focal lengths, depth of fields and apertures to really help tell the story of like, hey, look at this cool car. So. That is how I would do some basic car animation or camera animation for a car render. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, let me know in the comment section down below. Questions, comments, concerns, whatever else, comment section is down there for that as well. And I do wanna let you know that I made this tutorial because I do offer online coaching for Unreal Engine or other motion graphics and filmmaking related content. And I 
got this question through one of my callers, Steven. He was asking me how to do some cool car renders and one of the parts of it was how can we get some better camera animation? This is the strategy I would use to create a cinematic for a car and I wanted to make a tutorial of about this for him, but also to share with the rest of the world. So then hopefully some people can learn about how I would do some of the camera animation stuff. If you'd like to learn a little bit about the online coaching, link is in the description down below. And until next time, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will leave you with the final tip. And that's eat one gram of protein per pound of body weight. You make some goodbye my friends. Bye.